lot more clear now and still seeing lots of dump trucks. Coming to carry the snow back down to the harbor. It's two degrees though, so the streets that have been cleared are a lot easier to walk on now. There was a whole lineup of dump trucks here waiting to round the corner um, for the uh, John Deere tractor that was blowing the snow to widen the streets. Still pretty treacherous though because some of the streets are not open very wide and when the dump trucks go by it's you have to jump in the snowbank. So here I am just doing a quick pan of Wood Street up from Duckworth by the Hemp Store and uh, some of the hotels like the Marriott. Um, it's still a bit sketchy on the side streets because um, a lot of them are only clear a single lane. So it's very tricky and cars are still not allowed on the road. But it's tricky walking even for the odd car that does pass. Just listening to the fine lads here, local band and their song Too Much Drink which is great, check it out. And here's a snow cave uh, to expose the fire hydrant. So with the state of emergency, stores were not allowed to serve the general public. And I guess the couple of stores that did manage to serve some of the folks of the general public were threatened with a $5,000 fine. And here's an email that was posted on the door of, of one of the stores. And so, uh, only people who were part of the snow crew or, or military or, you know, um, Coast Guard or any of those type of folks were the only people who could access, um, you know, supplies that were in a store. Well, some of the hotels are nice enough to serve a coffee to non-guests. And what a treat it is after so many days of being just in the apartment and well I mean at least I'm walking around and I have heat so I'm grateful for that. This is New Gower down by mile one and look at still how narrow the streets are. So when the dump trucks come through it's actually pretty dangerous. You wouldn't want to be doing it in the dark. That's for sure. I've had to uh, you know climb into the snowbank quite a few times today. For that reason, just to avoid all the uh, huge dump trucks. Just down on George Street by the Shamrock City Club. And it's a little more clear, but uh, it hasn't been widened at all. And not seeing any sidewalks. Um, our doorways actually open, is what I meant to say. Really hoping these are waterproof bank machines. Here again by the port of St. John's and uh, the dump trucks are dumping their snow loads over there <sighs> just to widen the streets right now. There's still some that aren't plowed. I heard from uh, a little bit outside of the city uh, that streets are still full of uh, lots of inches of snow, let's say. Three feet, four. <laughs> anyway, um, state of emergency is supposed to continue into tomorrow now, Tuesday. They were hoping to have it wrapped up by Monday um, and have people functioning again, but it was not to be. So, however, tomorrow there's going to be limited um, grocery type stores open for limited hours to allow uh, people to stock up with at least 48 hours worth of supplies. So it's just whether or not you can get there. So hopefully you've got um, snowshoes, skis, snowboard, that kind of thing. Bye for now.